Hey, what's going on, everyone? Well, the Cowboys won, and apologies for not getting this video out sooner. I just been going, having to go to work earlier, and you know, other stuff in my life have taken hold, and I've been meaning to get to that review of Wanted Dead or Alive, but I just haven't gotten around to it. So, but eventually I will at some point. Just hopefully it will be soon, as long as I get the urge and the energy to do it. So we'll we'll see what happens. But anyways. The Cowboys beat the Saints 27 to 17, and very glad that we won the game. Um, defense played decently, offense not so much, um, despite having Cooper and Lamb back in the lineup. Um, I'll just basically start off what you know what I like and didn't like, sum it up to the best of my ability from what I remembered. Um, Tony Pollard is definitely a solid runner, running back for sure, and. If Zeke is definitely not healthy, honestly, looking back, he really shouldn't have been playing in that game. If anything, I would have at least held him out, or if he if he has to play the football game, uh, he should only come in to block, because Zeke has better uh, pass blocking skills in comparison to Tony Pollard. Uh, that's when I would only bring in Zeke for that. You know, I don't think he's quite... Because Zeke doesn't really look right out there. He did get that one... Um, final run for uh, for the first down to pretty much seal the game but yeah the offense didn't look all that great even with um, our starting tackles Tyron and Lyle and Steele who was out with COVID and maybe that can be attributed to not having Joe Philbin still and also not having the the assistant that was that stepped in for Philbin uh, or Philbin sorry uh, last was last week versus the Raiders so <laughs> Yeah, and we, of course, we didn't have McCarthy. But I have to admit, Dan Quinn did a fairly decent job of keeping the guys in line. The defense, for the most part, did, did its job. Although, Taysom Hill did have some, some good runs on us in the second half. And Ingram didn't have as much. But Taysom Hill is... <laughs> there's a reason why he's pretty fast and he can run on you. And um, while, like I said before, the defense was able to um, get some turn... The, was able to contain the run to a certain extent other than Taysom Hill. Um, the defense did get four interceptions. Trayvon got his ninth pick. Curse Kirk, uh, somehow made an unbelievable pick on that one. Um, who else picked? Uh, okay, there's Diggs, Curse, uh, Casey, who had a who was able to you know intercept a pass. Off, off a tipped pass, but um, but I'll get to him in a second. Then um, Carlos Watkins, he basically intercepted the ball and returned it all the way for a touchdown. That pretty much put the game away to an extent. But just right after that, apparently Taysom Hill threw to number eleven. I don't know the guy's name, and he was able to score a seventy-yard touchdown. It was very poor tackling on on Casey's part. If anything, we need to we need to not allow any kind of garbage time touchdowns like that like like right after we you know intercept and return it for a touchdown you know pick six and all that we cannot allow that opposing offense to just all of a sudden score really quickly this happened against us in the New England game because come on don't do shit like this you need to keep your fucking head in the game and also you need to tackle better and Casey is you're not a very good tackler you had really taken very poor angles in the Raiders game I don't know if I addressed that but you know what that's what happened. He really took very poor angles. And so did Diggs. And you guys, as, as much as the, for the picks that you're getting, you need, to, you need to step up when you're tackling. You need to step that up big time. Because that can go the distance. You can't do shit like that. You need to really get your fucking heads out of your asses, defense. For the turnovers, you also need to fucking make up some, make up, make up some of that in the ground game. And while D-Log did come back and he didn't record any sacks, he definitely made an impact in the game in terms of, you know, the run defense. It definitely made a difference for sure. And this upcoming game against Washington will definitely be getting uh, Gregory and Gallimore back, and that's definitely going to help. It might be, they might be a little bit of rust, rust to shake off, but I think eventually, uh, as time goes on, they'll be able to get back into their old form and, you know, start sacking the quarterback or putting pressure or maybe st stopping the run. But anyways, other, it was a solid effort on the defense. I'll give them that. That's why we were. That's why we were. That's why we we uh, we were able to win that game. 
Now, if we had, let's say, James Winston, I don't know. I think we could have still forced some turnovers on him regardless because he's a turnover machine. But instead, we faced Taysom Hill, and we still made him throw four picks. <laughs> so there you go. As for the offense, while they did, while uh, Cooper being back definitely made a difference, um, Dak only threw one touchdown pass to Michael Gallup. But in the second half, Dak wasn't very good. He was like, I think, 7 of 16. And he threw that, that one pass that definitely got intercepted. And you can't do shit like that, Dak. I'm sorry. It, there was nothing there. You should not have made that throw. That was beyond fucking stupid. And yeah, I know you got greedy, but seriously. Pull your fucking head out of your ass and don't do shit like that, okay? If there's a guy wide open, throw it to the guy fucking wide open. It's not that fucking hard to do, okay? Step up your fucking game and stop doing stupid shit like that. And the coaching staff, if Zeke's not 100%, for crying out loud, stick with Pollard. He had that 58-yard that touchdown run. And I don't think I ever saw him come back in the game after that. If anything, if Zeke's not, not is not truly 100%, Roll with Pollard, okay? He can do the job. He has, you know, he has his starting tackles. He, he should have an efficient line. And also, I think Kellen Moore, come on, dude. Um, you need to do much better on the creativity on the play calling. You need to balance it out. You cannot abandon the run. And I'm kind of, I'm kind of watching the Washington and Raiders game, and we only had, what, a total of how many rushing yards against them? Like, maybe... 60 70 maybe 80 somewhere in that range and the Washington has almost 60 yards in the first half against them So if any case you cannot abandon the run, okay? Otherwise, this is Jason Garrett All over again. He always got away from what was working and I'm tired of seeing that fucking shit So you too Kilmore, you need to pull your fucking head out of your ass. I'm tired of seeing that crap I'm glad we won but when it comes to good teams we need to be better. We need to be more more creative. We cannot make stupid mistakes like that. You need to have better passing uh, uh, passing routes or passing running blocking schemes. You need to just do something better on that. You need to not always run inside the gut too. How about doing something like outside for once? Off tackle, tosses, something like that. I think I've said this before. In the defense, you cannot blight you cannot let up and you need to fucking tackle better or did I say that right did I say I don't care you need to tackle better regardless of that ifs and that's that's no ifs and buts you need to fucking step up and do your jobs tackle better not that hard anyway I think that's gonna do it you know I'm glad we won we faced Washington and last I checked they're up seven to three uh, on the Raiders hopefully the Raiders can somehow pull this out we'll see so, anywho, that's going to do it for me, and um, I'll be seeing you later. Bye-bye.